All right, guys, we are back, and today I have something that is so exciting that I'm going to put together. I'm going to unbox this guy. I'm going to put him together. As you can see, it is Beetlejuice from Spirit Halloween, the animatronic. You can see we have Beetlejuice on the TV behind us because tonight we are watching Beetlejuice for Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. Now guys, if you have not been watching Saturday Night Snack in a Movie, make sure you come back tonight and watch Saturday Night Snack in a Movie. We do it every Saturday and we do awesome stuff. We pick an awesome movie, we make an awesome snack. Sometimes we even do an awesome craft, like this awesome pirate chest we made when we watched the Pirates of the Caribbean. You put all your snacks right in there. Or this awesome beavers basketball hoop that we made when we watched Teen Wolf, you put your Bucky Beaver nuggets right in there. Or even this awesome guy right here, the chilled monkey brains monkey from Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. The top comes right off and you put your monkey brains inside. But tonight, guys, we are watching Beetlejuice. So we are going to be putting this guy together to get ready for that awesome movie night. So without further ado, let's go ahead, take this guy off the table. I'm going to start digging through the box and putting him together. Let's play a game. <laughs> this guy is super heavy too, which tells me that he's a quality animatronic, I guess. All right, so we got this box. Oh, I'll bet you anything that's his head in there. We'll open that in a minute. We got this box, which is probably the mechanism. Here's his clothes, his hands. Hmm, I guess this would be his legs. And here's what's so heavy in here, guys. It's the headstone. Wait, the boots are inside. So the first thing that I notice about the headstone, guys, it just has shaking hands on it, rather than like in the picture where it says, here lies Beetlejuice. This is a cool animatronic, but if it had here lies Beetlejuice on this headstone, it would completely top it off. It would be so awesome. All right, let's get the boots out here. There's one boot. What the heck is that? Okay. Reminds me of the girls in Hawaii that have the coconut. Never mind. All right, we got another boot here. These boots remind me of the Matrix, guys. They're so goth. And since I'm a total behind the scenes guy, now I'm very curious what brand of boots he actually wears. All right, we got a piece of cardboard here. Hold on, there's more stuff in here. What the heck, I can't get it out. Okay, that appears to be everything that was inside. We got the shoulder piece. We got two more of these little things. I have no idea what these are. I don't even have a guess. This must be the base for the headstone. I don't know. Okay, this is all zip tied. Let me get it cut out. Hold on. Okay, there's that. Oh, there's even more parts in here. Man, they really made use of the space in packing this thing. I hope this is not an indication of how difficult this is gonna be to put together. This must be the part that goes on the floor. Do we have instructions somewhere here? Instructions for Beetlejuice. We got the legs, we got the arms, we got the head in a box. Let's go ahead and take the head out. <laughs> oh my gosh, the head is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> it's Beetlejuice's head. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, there's the box, the control box. Oh boy, we got zip ties and some other things. Power adapter. Okay, let's see if we can do this, guys. Yeah, looks like we have all the pieces, parts that we need. This looks the same, so I don't think it's gonna matter which is the front. Four metal poles. Okay, headstone down over top of that. So far, so good. Knee forms, I guess that's what those are. They're not coconuts. <laughs> okay, so we attach it like this, pull this through, stick that in there. There's one, and there's two. Okay, next we, so we put it down over the tube here, and that creates his legs. All right, next is the pants. Look at this, here's his tie. Is this the pants? That's the shirt, here's the pants. That's actually much better fabric than you find with these animatronics, too. Okay. One in each leg hole. Something like that. Okay. Oh, wait. 
Look, he has buttholes. <laughs> he has buttholes we have to put down over the black pipes and then put these down over them. Okay, now I got it. Okay, here we go. That makes much more sense. That forms like the waist there. Okay, attach the metal waist with mechanism. Okay, so this goes on here. Attach the square metal post. Okay, then this goes on top here. I think that's right. These hook on here. This isn't too bad. Every time I say that, things get worse. All right, where does this go? Apparently I had to bend this myself. Okay, so this goes on here then. All right. Hmm, we gotta put the jacket on while we're doing that. Okay, wait, apparently the arm has to go up through this way. Okay. All right, attach the shoulder form. Attach the head. Okay, attach this. So it doesn't say to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug stuff in here. Wait a minute. So the directions are kind of weird. Like it tells me to close them all up and put his tie on, but we still have not put in the control box. That's strange because that goes on the front here. Okay, I'm gonna have him turned on and turned all the way up. And let's attach the power now to, he is not made where you can use batteries. It's kind of strange that that just hangs there loose. Close it back up. That is a legit shirt that you have to button up too. Wait, we got another problem. This goes around his neck. This has to go through and plug into that box too. All right, so. This is like trying to get a kid ready for a funeral. I think that goes under. Okay. <laughs> oh, the boots. So the boot goes on, and it's got a slice in the bottom here. Okay, so there's a slice in the bottom of the boot here. It's supposed to fit over this right here. Um, okay, there we go. I'm not even going to try to put the... Well, maybe. Okay, there's one. Get your leg in there, sir. Your Doc Martens. Okay, something like that. Okay, let's bend up his arms a little bit more. Whew. Okay, plug him in and get him going. Okay, I heard his box kick on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little uh, ooh, anxious, if you know what I mean. Got about 600 years after it all. I wonder where a guy, an everyday Joe like myself, can find a little action. Oh my god, he's so awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That. Here's why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. I won't. I won't do them. Hey, these aren't my rules. Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. <laughs> Guys, he is automatically one of my favorite animatronics. I can literally are. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. And the ghost was the most dead. He says so many phrases from the movie. Yeah, guys, look at this. He is easily one of my favorite animatronics ever now. I mean, man, I got to tell you, watching the videos online, seeing the pictures, and even seeing them in the store just does not even compare to when you get them home in your own house. I mean, this guy is huge. In the store, the store is so big and there's so many things going on, you just, you don't even get the full grasp of how cool he is. But I'm going to step up here and we're going to listen to his phrases again close up and just give him a close look from head to toe. Thank you! That is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. I won't. I won't do them. Hey, these aren't my rules. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. <laughs> I won't. I won't do it. <laughs> I can truly are. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. And the ghost was the most dead. Oh, say it once. Say it twice. Look down the charm. Just say it. It's showtime. You know, you look like somebody I can relate to. Maybe you could 
let me get out of here, you know, because I got to tell you, this, uh, this death thing is it's just too creepy. See, here's my problem. I got these friends on the outside that I said I'd meet, you know, and that's the kind of thing I have to be there in person, you know. So I was just wondering, could you help me get out of here? Oh, my gosh. I just can't believe how awesome he is. I got to do something with that hair. It's such a rat's nest. Hello, rat nest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling a little uh, ooh, anxious, if you know what I mean. Been about 600 years after it all. I wonder where a guy, an everyday Joe like myself. I wonder where a guy. <laughs> now, let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Okay, I turned him down so we could just take a look at him and I could talk to you guys a minute. But yeah, like I was saying, he is definitely one of my favorite animatronics that I own. Um, seeing him in your own house is just a completely different experience than seeing him in the store or seeing pictures online or videos online. I mean, man, he is so cool. And I gotta say, when he's turned way down, his function is very quiet too. Like, listen to his jaw. Yeah, there's some animatronics that I've seen that the functionality, like the motion and, and the jaw moving is so loud and it like clicks and you can hear everything and you have to have it turned up all the way in order to not even hear that stuff. But look at his eyes here. I don't know if this is supposed to be, but his eyes are kind of googly looking. Like this one's kind of looking up and that one's looking straight forward. <laughs> So that's kind of weird, but it doesn't bother me at all. It's totally awesome. Here's the movie right here. So if we want to take a look at the movie and at him, it, it, that this is just this is a great prop, guys. I highly recommend this animatronic to anyone who's considering buying it. Totally awesome. All right, well there he is. Awesome Beetlejuice animatronic. I'm going to go ahead and get him set up over here um, where the box is right in that corner with all the movies. And I'm going to continue to get ready for movie night. I hope you guys will join me tonight. We're going to make an awesome snack and have a great time. I attend the Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague and I had a pretty good time during that. You've seen the Exorcist about 167 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. And the ghost with most, babe.